If you've ever wondered how we take a natural, variable product like timber and turn it into an engineered product that we can use to design and build homes that are going to last for the long term, we're going to take a look at some of the principles that go into timber engineering. The first thing we need to understand is how a tree grows and what makes timber, timber. Essentially, it's a series of straws that carry water up through the tree that are held together by a glue-like substance called lignin. When you have a look at the grain of a piece of timber, you can see where in the tree it was cut from. And if you have a look along the length of it, you can see all these little imperfections that tell you how that piece of timber grew and the history of the tree that it came from. We then need to ask a series of questions. What sort of timber are we using? Is it a natural wood product or an engineered product? How much water is in it? What sort of size and shape of timber are we using? And then finally, how is it going to be loaded? What sort of loads are being applied and are they going to be on for the short term or for the long term? Finally, we also do extensive testing to get the data to reassure us that this natural product can be used in a way that is consistent and reliable. I've done one test myself where a stick of timber spanning 1.6 meters, which was designed to hold about 300 kilograms, ended up holding 1200 kilograms before it failed. That's the weight of a small car. Not only is timber the world's most sustainable building material, it's also a feat of engineering.